Welcome to Cambodian School. Today, we're learning lesson 56 from Sipaud and An textbook by Pan Sitaran. Lesson 56 in Khmer, we say Merin Tihasa Pramoy. It's on page 60. In this lesson, we are learning another set of consonant clusters, which in Khmer, we say Pchunjinepsum. These are the consonant clusters. Please note that the initial consonant the consonant on top here and the subconsonants are both the second series consonants. So these consonant clusters follow the second series consonant. Okay? So let's read them. Kojungro kro. Kojungno kno. Kojungmo kmo. Kojunglo klo. Kojungvo kvo. Kojungno kno. Kojungmo kmo. Let's read the rest. Kojungro kro. Kro u kru. กอจงรอกรอกรออีกเครียกเครียบอกเครียบบรรทอกมวยกรอบกอจงรอกรอกรออีกเครียกเครียนอกเครียนบรรทอกมวยกรอนกอจงรอกรอกรออุกรุกร
Now let's look at this lesson in more detail. Okay, first let's look at clustering the second series constant ko with subconsonant ro. Okay, please note both the initial consonant ko and the subconsonant ro are the second series consonant. So it's cluster ko jung ro kro is also a second series consonant or follow a second series consonant. Okay, so let's read these words. Ko jung ro kro kro ngo krong. Ko jung ro kro kro ba kro ban ta mui krop. Ko jung ro kro kro am kron. Ko jung ro kro kro ie kria kria no kria ban ta mui kron. Ko jung ro kro kro u kru. Ko jung ro kro kro ie kria kria ba kria ban ta mui kron. Ko jung ro kro kro u kru kru no kron. Ko jung ro kro kro u kru kru so kru. Ko jung ro kro kro e kre. Ko jung ro kro kro u kru. Clustering the second series consonant ko with subconsonant no. Okay. Again, both the initial consonant and the subconsonant are the second series consonant. So it's cluster. Also follow the second series consonant. Okay. So ko jung no kno. Let's read these words. Ko jung no kno kno i kni. Ko jung no kno kno i kni. Ko jung no kno kno e kni. Ko jung no kno kno i kni kni no kni ban tak mui knon. Clustering the second series consonant ko with subconsonant mo. Once again, both the initial consonant and the subconsonants are the second series consonant. So it's cluster. Ko jung mo kmo also follows the second series consonant. Okay? So ko jung mo kmo kmo ia kmi kmi no kmi. Clustering the second series consonant yo, not yo but ko with subconsonant lo. As before, both of the initial consonant and the subconsonant are the second series consonant. So it's cluster, ko jung lo, klo also follow the second series consonant. Okay, so now let's read these words. Ko jung lo, klo, klo ngo klong ban tak mui klong. Ko jung lo, klo, klo i clear. Ko jung lo, klo, klo i clear, clear to clean. Ko jung lo, klo, klo i clear, clear no clean. Ko jung lo klo klo i kli kli ba klap. Ko jung lo klo klo i kli. Ko jung lo klo klo i kli kli go kli. Ko jung lo klo klo o klo klo go klo. Clustering the second series consonant ko with subconsonant vo, as before. Both the initial consonant and the subconsonant are the second series consonant, so it's cluster. Ko jung lo also follow the second series consonant. Okay, so now let's read these words. Ko jung vo kvo kvo i kvia kvia ngo kvia. Ko jung vo kvo kvo i kvia kvia lo kvia. Actually, this should be L here. Okay. Clustering the second series consonant ko with subconsonant no. Again, both the initial consonant and the subconsonant are the second series consonant, so its cluster follows the second series consonant. Ko jung no kno. Let's read these words. Ko jung no kno kno ngo kno. Ko jung no kno kno i kni kni ba kni. Ko jung no kno kno u kno kno so kno. Ko jung no kno kno e kno kno so kno. Ko jung no kno kno e kno kno so kno ban tak mui kno. Clustering the second series consonant ko with subconsonant mo. As before, both the initial consonant and the subconsonant are the second series consonant, so it's cluster. Ko jung mo. Kmo 
also follows the second zero consonant. Okay, so now let's read these words. In this lesson, we have two words that are pronounced different from their from the way they're written. Okay, so jarat. Okay, it is pronounced as jarat. Okay, and this word is pronounced as bope. Okay, again, jarat bope. Okay. So here is a list of all the words that we have read, plus a few others to help us read this lesson. Okay, as before, we are going to read these words without sounding them. Okay, grong, grob, grob, grie, gre, gron, grob, grun, gru, 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 krem, krung, kre, kre, krong, krom, kro. Knee, knee, knon, kne, kmean, klung, clear, clean, clean, club, clee, clee, club, clean, cloak, clone, clum, clom, clang, queen, quill. Knong, knip, kno, knu, kne, kmom, kmim, kmul, kmum, and kmo. Let's read the sentence. Let's move it to a different page then. Okay. Okay. No, lo, lo, yung ni. Kmien kang ye na tao tip day. Okay. Once again. No lơ lốp dừng ní, kmien ca nghĩa ná thao tiệp tệ. The second sentence. Cổ má khmái miên chả rật, kpong kpo, chách cổ rộp cao, khlai khnia tờ vinh tờ mọc. Again. Cổ má khmái miên chả rật, kpong kpo, chách cổ rộp cao, khlai khnia tờ vinh tờ mọc. Okay. Now let's read this, um, this poem. Cầm đê chấm sầm nắng, cấm ảnh áng chấm bộp bề. Cầm rõ cấm thầm nế, rê riêng rí, chê oi cụm. Ok, so now let's look at the vocabulary. Grong means to govern, to administer, to manage, to direct, to look after, to watch over, to defend to guard, to protect, or of monks to wear the robe over one shoulder, leaving the other shoulder bare. Grob is a lid, a cover, or to close with a lid or cover, or to cover. Grob means all of, every, to be enough, to be complete, whole, or entire. Griya means occasion, instant, time, moment, period, interval of time, or case. Griya means to be hard, to be firm, to be solid, or mature. Griya means sound of water boiling or bubbling. Gran means to be sufficient, to be enough, satisfactory, in order that, enough to, just for, only, or hardly. Grab means grain, pit, seed, pill, tablet, bullet, projectile, or bomb. Gru means teacher, instructor, or expert. Grug means slurping or gurgling sound. Gro could be written with 
they sound the same thing. And they both mean the same thing. Pebbles, crushed stones, or gravel. Gra means to be uneven or rough of a surface. Grung means equipment, tool, implement, mechanism, device, apparatus, component, accessory, thing, ingredient, supplies or parts for building something such as a house, spice or seasoning. Great means to sprain, to pull a tendon, to twist or to dislocate. Grae means bed. Gro means to plan, to draft, to prepare in advance. Structure, shape, form, frame, framework, network. To be excessively high, to be towering, to be huge. Enormous or immense. Grom means to be sore, to ache, or to hurt internally. Groh means accident, misfortune, danger, or chance. Knia means together, mutually, reciprocally, assistant, helper, colleague, friend, companion, people. I, me, or my, that is used um, in formal or in intimate setting. Okay, Kni Knia means members of one group's unit, faction, or acquaintances. Knon Kne or Kne Knon, they can say um, either way. You can say Knon Kne or Kne Knon, which both means um, to plan or to make arrangements. Kmean means not to have, or there is, or there are not. Klung means leprosies. Clear means sentence, phrase, clause, line of poetry, the space between sentences or paragraphs, or spaces as punctuation. Clear means to depart, to go away from, to leave, to separate, to be separated from. Clean clear means to depart, separate from, to diverge, to be absent, to be separate from, to last, or not to cease. Clean means to be hungry. Club means to wrap snugly around or fit well. Clay is a rubber ball or a billiard ball, a ball bearing, a marble, or a spinning top. Clay means to be glossy black and fat. Club means cover, covering, cape, shawl, hatch on a boat, or trunk of a car. Cloak is a generic name for several kinds of gourds. Clone means to be shaky, to be unbalanced, or unstable, literally and figuratively, or rocking as a boat. Clone means to cover, to put on, to fence in, to shut up, to enclose, to gag someone, or to muzzle an animal. Clum means to be under watch for, to observe, to valet, to have a good look at, or to inspect. Clum is a storehouse, a warehouse, a depot, a storage space, in general such as a basement, a bank, a treasury, um, cash, or treasure. Queen means to part ways, or to part company, or not to understand one another. 
Twill means to guard or to tend animals, to herd or to raise. Knuknong means to be very insolent, to be arrogant, very quick to anger, or very easily upset. Knip are pincers, press, or a square bracket. Kno is a lever, a crowbar, or a jack that is used to change a tire. Kno are drawing instruments. Kmom kmom or kmim kmim, both of which mean with the mouth full, use only what see, which mean to eat, or the bear, which mean to chew. Okay. Kma means to be pitted, to be thick skin, and covered with pimples or cysts. Kma means bee. Kma is a kind of small, flat gong. Okay. Let's read the sentence. No lo lok yung ni. Means, in our universe, no jobs are disreputable. Okay, the next sentence. Means, my children have great attitude, always respecting each other. Okay, now for the poem. Kom de chăm sâm nang, kom kèn kang chăm bộp bê means don't wait for luck, don't be arrogant, waiting for destiny. Kom ro kom tum nê, rê rian rí, chê oi krup means work hard at all times, learn to think critically, knowing all. This lesson is on page 60. 60 in Khmer, we say Hok Sup. Okay, so now please take out a piece of paper and a pencil and learn how to write some of the words from lesson 56. Okay, first, let's write Gru. Go. Go Jung Ro. Kro, 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 u, kru. It's kind of crooked. It's okay. Right. Krup. Ko jung ro. Ko jung ro, kro, kro, ba. Kro. Ntak mui. Krup. Right, crop. Go jung ro. We have jung ro here. Cro ear, crea. Crea ba. Crea. When top moi, crop. Right, cron. Go. Go jung ro. Kro ia kriya. Kriya no kriya. Bantak moi kron. Right kron. Go. Jung ro. Go jung ro kro. Kro u kro. Kru no krun. Right. Kru. Kru. Ko jung ro. Kru. Ua. Kru. 
Sakruh, sakruh. Okay. Now right. Kruh. This kruh here means pebble. The other kruh, the other one, is kruh. They both sound almost the same, but they're not quite. Okay. Kau jeng ro, kro, kro sra, sra, change sound to sra, kro, kro, kro. Okay, can you can you hear the difference? Okay, this one means accident. This one means pebbles. Okay. Now right, grey. Kau jeng ro. Kau jeng ro, kro, kro e, kre. Okay. Now right, knia. Go. Kau jeng no. Kno, kno e. Knia. Right, kmian. Go, chung mo, go chung mo, kmo, kmo ear, kmea, kmea no, kmean. Right, cloak, ko, ko chung lo, klo, klo is the ow. Sra ao, change it sound to sra o, a o. Kho chung lo, klo, klo o, klo, klo ko, klo. Right, quill. Kho. Kho chung vo. Kho, kho sra a. Sra a, change it sound to sra ea. Kho ea, kho ea, kho ea lo, kho ea lo. Right. Knong. Kho. Kho chung no. Kno, knong o. Knong. And finally, right. Khmong. Kho chung mo. Kho chung mo. Kho mo. Kho chung mo. Kho mo. Okay. So for your assignment, please read each of these words five times each and write them five times each as well. Okay. So now let's review our lesson 56. Again, lesson 56 in Khmer, we say, Meirin ti ha sa pramoy. It's on page 60. Page 60 in Khmer, we say, Tumpo ti hok sap. Okay? In this lesson, we have learned the next set of consonant clusters, which in Khmer, we say, Pshun jinep sam. On this page, we are going to read the consonant clusters, as well as the word and the sentences, without sounding them. Okay? Kro, kno, kmo, klo, kvo, kno, kmo, kru, krup, krap, kran, krun, kru, kru, kre, knia, kmien, klien, klo, kwil, Knong, Kmom, Nơ lơ lốc dường ní, Kmien ca nghĩa ná tháo tiệp tệ. Cổ má khmái, Miên trả rất, Kpong kpo, Chết cổ rộp, Kao tk lại, Kniê, Tờ vinh, tờ mọc. This first picture reads, Kre, The second picture reads, Kmom, And the last picture reads, Klo. Ok? 
Okay, so now let's read this poem. Cấm để chấm sầm nắng, cấm ảnh áng, chấm bộc bể. Khom rót, cấm tầm nế, rễ riền rí, chết ỏi cụm. We have now complete lesson 56. I'm alive. For more info or feedback, please visit Cambodian School of San Francisco. Thanks.